Hi, my name is Jordan and welcome to Gamers Genie. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of Disney Villainous. This game is basically based on all the Disney villains and and I, Kevin and I played this game at Gen Con before and I really loved it. So also it's a signed copy which is really awesome. So let's th crack this thing open and unbox Disney Villainous. Okay, so we have Villainous here and I really like the cover on the color green looks pretty good and have a on the cover plus it's a signed copy which is also awesome and did you know that the color green is actually Disney Villains signature color which I did not know about until I read an article about it but <laughs> every dozen villains are pretty different so what's that's what's unique about Disney okay let's get the box open hopefully I'll slide out but Mm. Oh, there we go. It's it's coming and going. And so we have the rule book here, which is pretty awesome. And then we have different boards here. We should um, get that one open. And these have different Disney. Uh, they have different boards for different Disney villains, like. You probably would think like how many villains there are in this game, which is pretty exciting. So we have Maleficent here from Sleeping Beauty, Jafar from Aladdin, which is one of Kevin's favorites, and then Captain Hook, one of my favorites. <laughs> and then we have Prince John from Robin Hood. You don't see him around these days. And then we have Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And then we have Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And what's cool about this is since Kevin and I have played it at Gen Con, each of them has different sections for um, different Disney villains and different Disney villains have their own goals. So, which is pretty awesome. And these coins here are their power. Just let me open it so I can show you guys. So these look gem looking coins here is um, power um, to gain throughout the game. And then this is um, the determine uh, um, who's the first player. Oh, it's not. And this is for, oh. So this is for, um, Okay, um, this is for, um, reach for the Herald's decks, so, which is, shape, which looks like a thunderstorm here. And then this is the lock token, which is for certain Disney villains that you have to lock certain locations until the, their enemies appears on, in their deck. And then this thing here is for the power, um, tokens. So, there we go. So these are for the power tokens here. Oh. Oh wait. And then we have the balance figurines here. And I'm going to show you guys more closely. Here's the black one with Jafar with his um, Alfred and Scepter. And then we have Captain Hook, who is a codfish. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Anyways, that's just his Alpha and his hat here, and he's in dark red. And then we have Ursula, and she's in purple because that's what she looks like. And then there's whoops dropped him. This is Prince John. For whatever reason, I thought it's supposed to look like this because it would have made sense because if you do it like this, he might tip over easily because his head looks pretty big. And then there's Maleficent with her horns and purple flames. 
And then the last one, the Queen of Hearts, and of course you can might see a little um, heart symbol in there once you get the game. And then we have different big cards here. Oh, they're actually booklets, I forgot. These booklets tell you how to play for different villains. So there's Captain Hook, Maleficent, Prince John, Jafar, the, um, Queen of Hearts, and Ursula. These are gonna help you guys throughout the game. So you can look at those anytime. And then these are for what these symbols represents on your player board so which is pretty helpful also it tells you the different objectives of different Disney villains on the other side and you have one for each player and then we have some hero decks here which has a thingy majigs that helps you open the decks which is pretty nice and it'll be easy to open there we go this is for Prince John and of course they have different heroes deck oh and then on this side it tells you which villains it goes to plus it says um, who the villain is so you would know and these are the villains deck so they would tell you different items, condition, and allies. So that would help each villain reach the goals. And there are other villain decks for each Disney villains, like um, Jafar, Ursula, all the others. I was surprised that they put um, six villains in this game, but I wouldn't blame the game maker because there's so many Disney villains to, pull, to put in the game. But um, there might go, they might have expansions soon, so that would be helpful. And then there's more hero decks here for Jafar and, and then there's Jafar's villain decks. And then there's, oh, this is Alice in Wonderland, which is Queen of Hearts. Also, um, this was actually a birthday gift for me, and I got really excited, especially when it's Disney related, and I thank Kevin's dad for that, and here are the hero cards for the Queen of Hearts, and then um, her deck. Oh, also the back, here's the back part of um, the Queen of Hearts, it has all the hearts and the um, flamingos. I for oh, and there's teapots on the back. I forgot to show you for Jafar. So, so this is um have flames in it, and it has the book that gives that opens the cave of wonders, and then the lamp, and then the scepter, and then his um hat. I don't know what it's actually called in Arabia, but I'm pretty sure that I'll look it up later. And then there's Maleficent, and I'm pretty, oh, the back has dragons and flames. And of course, we all know that Maleficent turns into a dragon and Sleeping Beauty, and if you have not seen Sleeping Beauty, then go see it because every Disney movie is awesome, even though many people might disagree with me. But the back side is green for Maleficent, so you have her crow, fire, then skulls, and then her dragon form and vines, and then her horns and also her scepter and then here's the villain decks for Maleficent and the hero deck for Maleficent and one of my favorites Captain Hook and and in case you did not know um Peter Pan has been one of my favorite Disney movies as a kid and of course Captain Hook is one of my favorites but also, Gaston is one of my favorite Disney villains because of his na he's naive for Kate asking Belle to marry him when she says no. So for Captain Hook's deck, you have his hook, the, the helm, the dagger, the anchor, 
the skull, air, I think there is an arrow there, the skull for skull rock, and then his hat. So, and then there's his villain's deck with lots of pirates on it. Arg! <laughs> A pirate's life for them. And then there's the hero deck. You have the Lost Boys, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, all the other characters who will beat Captain Hook. And last and certainly not least, Ursula. And maybe one person asked me who's my favorite fairy tale villain, not specifically Disney. And I kind of picked the Sea Witch because she made. Ursula made Ariel sacrifice one thing that's a big part of her life, which is her voice. And for Ursula's deck, you have the eels that she, who is her allies, they're probably one of her allies, um, her shell necklace, and you probably cannot see, oh, you can see the, the trains, and then her um, octopus legs, I forgot what they're called, tacticals, I think that's what it's called, and then their shells, and then Triton's um, crown. And of course, the back is purple for Ursula, and then there's her deck on the other side, and then the hero's deck for Ursula. <laughs> so let's, let's see if I can put everything back for Villainous. I'm pretty sure that I can put everything back without making a mess. Because I'm pretty sure that I'm a pretty messy person once I open things like Christmas. After you open a Christmas present, presents, you'll make a big mess. And um, when Kevin's dad got this game for me, and since it was a signed copy, she asked um, he asked her, why is there Cruella de Vil in the back of a rule book? And there's actually is. If you can see here, she said it. Um, according to her, she had trouble narrowing down the um, different Disney villains to this game. But she had to pick six because there's so many. But I'm pretty sure there will be expansions. So I will be really excited about the expansions. So I can play this game with other Disney villains, so I would have some of my favorite characters there to choose from. And I'm actually packing this up really well because usually Kevin has to pack it back up because I know he's really specific for um, specific on putting games away. So I'm gonna try my very best here. <laughs> okay. And then the cards here, and then the villain board here. And since I didn't show you the rest, here is for Queen of Hearts, Prince John, Captain Hook, Jafar, and Maleficent. And from the artwork, it looks pretty dark for a few locations, but. Anyways, since Kevin and I played this game, it was a lot of fun. So, oh, forgot the rule book. Ah, silly Jordan, you're packing the game without the rules. Duh. So, there you go. There's Villainous. Well, that's it for the unboxing of Disney Villainous. And if you want us to teach um, this game, let us know in the comments down below so we can fast track it. Other than that, also let us know what your favorite Disney villain is because Kevin and I would like to know because this is an awesome game and we highly recommend it for any Disney fans out there. But again, we're going to do a how to play video as soon as possible if you want it to happen. And if you want to follow him on social media, all the links will be in the description down below. But until then, thanks for the views. Mm -hmm.